The question 4 is relationships between inscribed angles. Here we have a set of different problems. The first type begins with a simple one. Finding measure of arc AC. Here we can see the angle B is inscribed. How do we find this measure of arc AC? There's a simple formula. Whenever we have an inscribed angle, this arc is twice than this of inscribed angle or this inscribed angle is half of this arc. So I will write over here the measure of angle B is equal to half of the measure of arc AC. So this is the arc. That's it. And now we need to find the arc AC. So take this two to the other side. It will be two times the measure of arc angle B. That is 36. So that is the measure of arc AC. We get over here as 72 degrees. That would be the answer. You can see that's the answer, 72. Here they have asked to measure the angle N. We have this arc. So the inscribed angle will be half of this arc. So it's 62 divided by 231 would be the answer. Very straightforward problems. Please solve them by yourselves. Here, one important thing. If it was a central angle, now imagine this was the angle. Then this and this are equal. We have done it in the previous problems, but now it's inscribed angle. It's inscribed on any uh, part of the circle. So that's why we take it as half. And then we can easily solve it up. Over here also, it's the same thing, QSR. It'll be half of, sorry, two times of 113 degrees. And this is 30, 23. So this will be two times 23, 46 would be the answer. Try these by yourselves and then check for the answers. Everything is solved up over here. And now this one, how exactly would you do it? Here they have told this arc is 120, this is 140. So what is this one? You can add these up and minus it from 360 degrees. Total is 360 degree in a circle. Minus 120 minus 140. It will be 260. So 100 is remaining. So this one over here is 100. But that arc is 100, so what is the measure of angle R? Half of 100 is 50 degrees. So that is how we can solve it up. And now we need to find the measure of angle N. This is a little different type of uh, question. Here this is needed to be solved. And we know a few of the angles, but look at these sides. See, this is the inscribed and this is inscribed. Where does it touch? P and L. And even over here we know it's having the same point. So that means angle M and N are equal. Now we know M is how much? 3Y plus 8. That is equal to 6Y minus 1. So solve for Y. So it will be take 3Y to the other side and this minus 1 to the other side. It will be 8 plus 1 equals 6Y minus 3Y. You will have 9 is equal to 3Y. Y is equal to 3. So measure of y is 3. So it'll be 3 times 3 plus 8. It's 9 plus 8 over here. It will be 17. So measure of angle n is 17 degrees. So that's the answer. Same way, please do solve for the other angles. Just how we have done over here, l and p are congruent. And you can equate them and solve it up. Here we have a different figure, but the concept remains the same. Look which is inscribed, this angle is inscribed, and which is it equal to? Angle D, because D is also having the same ends. So then just equate it up and solve it up. Even with A, A and B are congruent to each other. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.